The Central Valley is such an important part of our country in terms of food production, in terms of history. We think we know what the Central Valley is and what it's about, but I had the sense that, that um, we could have a deeper understanding of that. This is a middle-class neighborhood of working-class families. We had on the bus with us Dr. David Hosley, but we had a faculty, students, staff members from School of Public Health, School of Nursing, School of Medicine. Having those discussions siloed alone in the medical school is definitely not as valuable as having it be in a professional and being able to get the perspective of all members of a healthcare team. The great thing about what I've seen this community do is it breaks the cycle of poverty. So our first stop was in Stockton at the Lau Family Center. We went to UC Merced. We went to Valley State Prison. Good day, you guys. Thanks for We put a lot of structure into the trip, but I think some of the richest moments came from what was unexpected. High school is on this side. On the other side, there's only one elementary school. Some of the very richest moments came from students who were from the Central Valley. Growing up there, I was so used to just a bunch of gang violence, having the prison in the backyard of the high school. So I'm sure it had some sort of impact on me, but you just become less aware of it. There's nothing you can do to get out of it. We come from these academic areas that are super rich with new ways of looking at healthcare. Going out, I realized that the demographic is different, the politics are different, and we need to figure out a way to work collaboratively to not just assume that everybody has the same background and the same, the same ideas. We went to Delano specifically to 40 Acres, which was the first headquarters of the United Farm Worker Movement. You felt the, the spirit of hope and activism and collectivism. And these things we need today. We're gonna to build a healthcare system that, that serves everyone as well as it can. I think it's gonna be useful for me in the future um, to have some background knowledge um, in the patient population that I intend on serving. Especially for us as um, health providers to know what, what the experience of our patients is and what they've gone through or are currently going through. There's nothing like connecting the social determinants of health with your own eyes, breathing it in. It's always profound to think about those who came before and I think it, it helps us to really appreciate that there often is a backstory.